So we're only given these two endpoints of the diameter of a circle, and we want to write the equation in standard form, which is this form right here. HK is the center of the circle, but how do we find the center just given these two endpoints? Well, we're going to want to use our midpoint formula, which is this one down here, and you can see that it's an average of the x's and an average of the y's. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we take 2 plus 8, I'm just adding the two x coordinates and dividing by 2, and then I'm going to take 1 plus 7, adding the two y coordinates together and dividing by 2, we'll find that middle uh, point, the midpoint. So we've got 10 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, so you can see that our midpoint here is 5 comma 4, right? 5 up 4, somewhere right into there. Now what we want to do is go ahead and put that in for h and k, so that's going to be x minus 5, the quantity squared, plus y minus 4, the quantity squared, equals the radius squared. Now how do we find the radius? Well, you can do this two different ways. One way is you can use the distance formula between the center and either this endpoint or this endpoint, or you can do what I like to do, which is just to take this equation as we have it in this form now and just pick one of the endpoints, that's a point on our circle, and put it in for x and y. And what we'll do is we'll solve for r squared. So we have 2 minus 5, which is negative 3 squared, plus 1 minus 4, which is also negative 3 squared, equals our radius squared. So this is 9 plus 9 which is 18, which equals r squared. Now, you don't need to take the square root of both sides because we're actually looking for r squared. So let's go ahead and just put that in for r squared, and you've got the equation of your circle in standard form. If you want to see another video that I did talking about uh, finding the equations of circles in standard form by completing the square, check out the video I did right there, and I'll see you over in that video.